Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today we're gonna look, uh, take a look at um, a little scenario. Um, a Russian standoff strike on Berlin. Um, of course there's not supposed to be anything political about this, it's more uh, looking at the platforms involved and their capabilities. Um, and of course we're going to do it in Command Modern Operations. Um, all right, so let's take a look at the uh, at the strike first. So um, it's pretty much what you would expect from uh, from a Russian standoff strike, as they do it pretty regularly in, in Ukraine right now. So first of all, you have the the Shahid uh, 136. And also, I had to borrow them from from the Iranian database. Um, the Russians actually also have them now as uh, Skeran 2. Uh, but I didn't find them, so uh, yeah, I just used these ones. Um, and what this essentially is, I mean, they're often called suicide drones, but in reality it's more like, uh, you can think of them more like a, um, uh, a little propeller plane style cruise missile. So they are very small, they have a very small warhead, um, but they uh, can reach out to like uh, 907 nautical miles, so pretty far. As you can see, if you would station them in Kaliningrad, uh, which they're not currently, but I mean, it's probably easy to just ship them over. Um, they could actually reach uh, the most, like uh, most of Great Britain and uh, also France. All right, next one is, uh, yeah, like the, the bulk of the strike will be made up of, uh, of air launched cruise missiles and they will be in here um, on the good old Tupolev. 95 bear and it will be uh, KH-101 air launched cruise missiles. Uh, yes, these things. Each bear can carry up to eight of them. Um, pretty okay warhead, a uh, range of like uh, uh, at least reportedly way over a thousand nautical miles. All right, um, and the last one, like the cherry on top, will be uh, a whole flight, like six uh, MiG-31 Ks, uh, stationed in uh, Baranavichi Airport or airfield, uh, as they were for the most part of the Ukrainian war, for now, um, and they will be carrying the uh, Kinjal uh, air-launched ballistic missile um, with a warhead of like 700 kilogram. So that's a real beast. Okay. So, defending side will be the Germans. So this is what Germany looks like in my little simulation. Uh, I've tried to get all the radar stations and air fields right. A lot of it will not matter in this, uh, in this situation. So you have essentially this uh, western line of um, early warning radars. Those are uh, AHDR, so they're stationary. Um, they have them all over the border with France and uh, Netherlands and, um, and Belgium. And then on the eastern side, you mostly have these uh, uh, NFPS uh, 117 also stationary. And they will be in these positions. And uh, yeah, what the Germans do not have uh, is AVEX, so there's not going to be any any airborne radar in this scenario. Of course, like in reality, they could uh, rely on NATO AVEX in this case. Um, yeah, and of course, Germany has an air force. Who would have thought? Um, most of it is not going to matter in this case. Um, what we do have set up is a little a little tanking, uh, not tanking, like a um, refueling mission with uh, just some standard. Uh, tanker aircraft and the uh, let's see if we can get the missions uh, it's gonna be this one yeah so we have a little tanker line here and then we also have uh, Eurofighters as uh, uh, air superiority I think they have them stationed in Newburg, uh, Nürburgring, Wittmundhafen and Lager but we're only modeling Lager this time um, it's gonna be just 15 of them uh, all ready to go, uh, set up with uh, four meteors and four IRSTs, um, and they will have two on station uh, starting at like uh, 2300. All right, um, 
that's it for the Air Force. Then let's take a look at Berlin itself. So this is what Berlin looks like in this scenario. You have four targets. Um, th it's these, like uh, electrical substation, transformer, uh, railway station over here, uh, a large building, and then, of course, the large government building over here, uh, a very large building somewhere over here, um, two bridges, another railway station, and another transformer. Ten targets, and we'll score the, the raid depending on how many of them can be uh, hit. Um, concerning air defense, so what could Germany technically have set up in Berlin? So first of all, they have these uh, these little things, um, the Orlikon Mantis, uh, which is a, like a CRAM system. It's basically, an, it's essentially a cannon um, that fires at airborne objects and uh, they have uh, this one, come on, magazines, weapons. Yeah, so each of them has one, two, three, four, five, like each section has uh, six of them. And we have two of these uh, scattered around Berlin. One of them at the uh, Tegel airport and one of them close to the uh, aforementioned large government building, which totally looks like this. Actually, it doesn't. All right, um, and then what else do we have? Uh, we also have a Patriot battery. So um, I tried to find some good information about like how many batteries are actually in operation, and it might be 11, and then maybe one of them got shipped to Ukraine. Or, like I'm actually not sure. Um, but it's pretty likely that if like there's any kind of advance warning that at least one of them could be moved to Berlin, and would probably be set up in some kind of airfield. And in this case, I just used the uh, old Tempelhof airfield over here. Um, so it's a modern Patriot system. It has Pack 2 and Pack 3 capability. And um, I just used the standard configuration, which means uh, we will have uh, 16 Pack 3s and 16 Pack 2s loaded and ready to go. So the Pack 2 is like your old. Uh, old style uh, large missile proximity fuse and everything uh, and um, active radar homing and then you have the pack 3 which is uh, a lot smaller um, the a lot shorter range and uh, yeah it's like a kinetic impactor um, but if for hitting small targets and everything in the scenario will be small targets uh, yeah the pack 3 is optimal and when it comes to range it's actually not that impressive I think the uh, Patriot has a range stated here of like 55 um, uh, nautical miles uh, for the pack 2s and 40 nautical miles uh, for the pack 3s which is kind of in the uh, medium range air defense area all right um, What's notably absent here, uh, I mean, this is not actually a lot. It's actually the uh, like the systems, the ground-based air defense systems that Germany has in operation right now. What they don't have in operation is uh, IRST, SLS, or SLM, um, which is produced in Germany. But for now, Germany doesn't have uh, like they recently, I think, ordered some, but uh, yeah, they don't have any batteries right now. And then they also uh, apparently ordered uh, the Israeli Arrow 3, which is like a serious uh, anti-ballistic missile system, very capable, but yeah, it's not here yet. Um, what they also apparently don't have is man pads. Uh, couldn't find them in, a in the database and not in any like um, publicly available uh, equipment list. So uh, no man pads today, I guess. Oh, and before we forget, um, there's also uh, these things, like I think Jimmy has two of them, uh, uh, the um, guided missile frigate Saxon, I've put one here just for demonstration. Uh, these ones carry SM2 missiles, like very, very capable, very long range, like probably the most capable air defense system that Germany has, but it's just way too far away from the target to be uh, of any consequence in this case. All right, uh, so let's start the scenario. So I'll quickly hop over, like we'll be directing the strike ourselves. And um, let me hit the unpause button. 10 minutes gone, and we will launch the Shahids. 
So the Shahids will go after early warning raiders. In this case, I think it makes sense to just uh, like take this one first. Maybe five. Forward 30 minutes. And then we launch at the second raider, uh, uh, at the two other raiders. And you guys are going to try to take out these radars over here. All right. So, um, yeah, forgot to mention it's going to be like the scenario will start at uh, 9 p.m. local time. It will end 9 a.m. Uh, local time. So it's 12 hours, like we are limited to 12 hours for the strike. It's probably we're not going to need as long, so uh, it's essentially like one, one busy night over over Berlin. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's unpause and let the shahids do their thing. As you can see, they're like really, really small, uh, or really slow, and they'll take forever to get there. Uh, if you remember, we started at around 2100, and now it's like already. It's already 11 p.m. There's the German Air Force doing their uh, patrolling. All right, the Shahids are getting close. Maybe we should pause here. Uh, we can take a look at the German side. As you can see here, they, they're not even aware that anything is happening. Yeah, sure, they uh, like the, the Shahids, if we go to God mode, uh, they're totally in the radar cone of that uh, of that Eurofighter flight, but uh, they are terrain following, so no chance of seeing them. Uh, okay, time to launch the bears. Uh, give me a second to switch over. God mode off. Switch to Russia, and take off. So they don't actually have to start moving there. They could just launch their cruise missiles from here. As you can see, uh, they're well within range. So let us switch over to the Germans really quick. Ah, there you go. They have detected, like the radar itself has detected the incomings and uh, has no chance of defending itself. Maybe these Eurofighters will turn around, try to try to get them Let's see what happens no they actually they are not even bothering and that's the first radar gone and more coming this time they're contesting apparently see here they come so they have to lose some altitude to engage them also they're not seeing them right now as you can see there they are bam bam Bam. And is that all of their Fox 2s? No, they still have some. Come on. And there comes some meteors. That's actually kind of dangerous what they're doing there. The Fox 3s don't really care if they're attacking uh, hostile or friendly, so. Uh, Get it, get it, get it, and narrow miss. Let's speed it up just a little bit. And Fox 2 miss. And come on, got one more try. Come on, kill it. Yes, they got it. All right, so this one was defeated. Speed up a little more. And there come. There come the Shahids that were launched at this radar. Look, if you're just circling them like this, it's not going to make a difference. 
can you maybe shoot at them? Yeah, they lost or like they've already fired all their Fox 2s. Maybe they're not configured correctly to to realize uh, what they should do. But um, yeah, the Patriot will swat it out here. That was it. All right, they're gone. All right. And there's another one, like another uh, group arriving at this radar. And now it's gone. Let's switch back over to the Russian side. By the way, this was... If we hit the pause button, um, we're now at like 2, 2 a.m. local time. So, middle of the night. So, we're gonna advance to... to 2 a.m. Just to have the numbers lined up correctly. There we go. Alright. So let's launch some cruise missiles. So we're taking world targets here. So we'll do like uh, this. Uh, let me allocate them really quick. Okay, all cruise missiles are allocated. Um, time to launch. And here they come. And they will be on top of the target in about two hours. So that's that will be around 4 a.m. And once we get close to 4 a.m., we will start our, uh, our MiG 31s and try to like uh, time the strike so that both uh, both uh, like flights of missiles arrive at the same time. All right, time to speed it up a little. Okay, we're getting kind of close. Uh, so we will now launch our, our MiG 31s. Oh, we probably have to like get a move on. It's about half an hour left. There they come. So, first of all, like, to launch these kinds of ballistic missiles, the, the plane itself will provide some of the energy, so we have to get them high and fast. Up to 60,000 feet. After burner on, come on, haul it. Haul, 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 and okay, that should be good. Also, by the way, if you uh, check out the strike range, uh, from, from Belarus, they can pretty much reach the UK and France, uh, which probably isn't a bit of coincidence. Uh, da -dum -da -dum. So, what are we hitting? So we really want to get rid of that large government building, so that we'll get one. Um, very large building, also juicy. Uh, what else? Let's take the electric substation. Um, num -num 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 -num. What else? Large building. And yeah, just look, I don't like bridges. Kill the bridges. There we go. All right. And launch. Yeah, the cruise missiles will probably be first. Let's speed it up a little. Yeah. All right. So it is now 3.39 local time, middle of the night. Let's see if the Germans can see anything. No, they can't. They're not even aware that anything has happened. So uh, let's go down to uh, 15 next time and see. There they are. So they detected them at 3.40. And that is maybe like a distance of... Yeah, 15 nautical miles. And the radar that got them is the... Yeah, it's actually this one. So not even the sneaky little uh, mobile one that I placed. 
that's just the the problem that you have with uh with terrain hugging cruise missiles like they are so low you can't really like they fly really low and finding them early is really difficult all right uh, let's see how this plays out okay So at about 10 nautic miles, so we actually have like a flight of Eurofighters here, so they might be able to do some work. Um, now, uh, the Patriot system is a little old, but it can totally uh, go crazy. Uh, so let's see what happens. That's a lot of missiles. Bam, 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 bam. It's swatting them down like, like mosquitoes. Oh, some missing. That's the pack freeze. Come on. Get him, get him, get him. And now we're trying. Starting to take damage. Oh, that was actually not too bad. And we lost the transformer. Bang. And it's gone. So, all the cruise missiles went, uh, are gone. And. Yeah, the Patriot is empty. So it will have no way of defending against the, uh, against the Kinjals, unfortunately. So we can't, like, see what happens. So, uh, yeah. Whatever is targeted by the Kinjals is probably going to be toast. Where are the Kinjals? Oh, they're over here. So let's speed it up a little. Come on. There we go. And smash. One of them crashed. All right, so uh, this is the final tally. So uh, we managed to save one transformer and the large building. But the ones that we're most interested in, like the bridges and the large government building and the very large building, all are dead. Final tally, eight out of 10 targets destroyed. Not a very good, not a very good score, I would say. But yeah, that's just that's just uh, the problem that you have with cruise missiles. You can't see them in time, and then when it's like when they're already very close, like your point defense has to be in a very good position to to defeat them all. All right. So just as a little recap, uh, so we had a total of. Um, 84 weapons launched at Berlin or Berlin and the surrounding early warning radars um, Yeah, score was 8 out of 10 uh, Thank you very much for watching and see you next time